This is my adoption story from India, part two. Before I knew it, the train station seemed to go back to normal and my mother was nowhere in sight. By some miracle, I had managed to keep holding onto my little brother's hand, who was now scared and confused as to where our mother was. Something in me switched. I'm not sure how old I was at this point in my life, but this was the moment that marked me forever. It was the moment I stopped being a child and immediately went into survival mode. I was no longer my little brother's older sister. In that moment, I became his mother, his protector, and his means of survival. I would do anything it took to keep him safe even if it meant bearing my own emotions, fear, and trauma. After what seemed like an eternity, we gave up trying to find her at the station. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a man came up behind us and grabbed us both. A train had just pulled in, and he took us on board with him. I remember being so scared, but we were also both so tired. I fell into a deep sleep, and when I awoke, I was on a moving train with my little brother and the strange man. He seemed nice and like he was going to help us. I have no idea in what direction the train went or for how long we were on that train. But when we finally did get off, the man took us to an orphanage that was only for small babies. This is where I began to lose it. I started screaming, kicking, and fighting. The man and the caretakers tried everything to calm me down, but I kept screaming for my mom. Since they couldn't get me to calm down, they locked me away for the night at an outdoor area, away from all the babies so my screaming wouldn't wake them. I was completely alone in the dark, with only the cold air to comfort me. I remember screaming out in the darkness for someone to help me, but was only met with angry voices telling me to be quiet. I remember crawling under a bench and crying. It was in this moment that I felt the presence of God for the first time, although I didn't know it at the time. His presence came in the form of a warm breeze. As I was shivering under this bench, I said out loud, I'm so cold. And immediately this breeze came over me like a warm hug and I fell soundly asleep. The week that we spent at this orphanage was a blur. They ended up transferring us to a different orphanage where kids our age were housed. But what I didn't know is that we would be there for the next three years and they were not going to be easy years.